Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Think Tool Mini, which is an exciting new diagnostic package by ThinkCar. I'm really, really excited to test this package out, but we're going to be looking at maybe everything you need to know and 21 questions and answers about this tool, starting right now. So we'll start with taking a look to see what's inside the box. And we have this cardboard sleeve, which just covers the, uh, the box there. And if I just show you what's on the box, uh, there's a few other things which you can actually buy. Um, a little bit of a description of what the uh, what the tool can do, and a little bit of other information as well. So not a great deal on there, but the obviously the main package is inside this uh, carry pouch here with a nice Think Car logo on the front there. It's got a zip open and it's quite a sturdy box, so you can. You can keep this tool in at all times. So this is obviously the tool itself. Um, now, one of the things I love about this tool is that it's obviously handheld like that. Uh, but another thing that I actually love is the fact that the dongle, which plugs into the vehicle, just slides into the bottom of the tool itself. So you really should never lose that, even though I nearly did. So you can slide that back in there and it just pops in really nicely. It's always somewhere to keep it safe. Um, you've got a little screw here to put it on top of a tripod if you need to. Um, this comes apart, you know, I've never actually done it, but I believe it comes off so that you can attach other things to the tool like um, printers and whatnot. So there we go, we've got electrical connections in there and it gives you uh, information on your serial number, what it will support, this back section here. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we are just gonna have that plugged in there okay and on the top here we've got the on off switch i believe that's a camera i'm not too sure i'll double check that and then the power sections here so if you want to charge it because it does have an internal battery that is where you would charge it and connect various data cables okay so i think what we should do is we'll turn it on and we'll get into the vehicle oh before we do that we've got a huge user manual which comes in multi-languages as you can see right there we've got a plug we've got a power cable but to be honest with you most places will just plug this in and plug that in to get the, uh, the the battery charged and then we've got just a quick uh, leaflet on different think tool products that are in fact available so now let's get into the vehicle and we'll start using this Think Tool Mini. So here we are in the vehicle now, and we have the tool in hand. We have the tool powered on, fully powered on, and you may be able to see just down in the right-hand bottom corner here, we have the uh, the dongle plugged into the diagnostic port of this vehicle. Uh, the green light indicates that the power is on. Uh, there will be a blue light showing just below it when we actually connect to the vehicle with this tool. So what is the Think Mini, uh, Think Tool Mini tool? Well, it's a diagnostic tool which is an all-system uh, scan tool it covers 28 special functions and over 220 makes of cars so it's a really powerful tool that will uh, empower sort of anybody who's looking to diagnose their own car any garages workshops uh, or anyone who has to look after one or more vehicle uh, so where to buy this tool well I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can buy this tool there there are fakes there are clones on the market unfortunately so please please use the link in the description below this video that will take you to the genuine listing for this product now what about the price of this product well at the time of making this video it is 359 pounds uh, so that might equate to around about 470 ish dollars uh, but obviously prices are subject to fluctuation so um, please you know don't be annoyed if you click on the link and the price is a little bit different when you see it it's just 359 pounds is the current price at the time of making this video and this video is being made in July 2021 uh, so how is the tool powered well it does have an internal battery which can be uh, fully charged up and this is the area where you would do so so it's just a little flap here and you can plug a USB in there to charge the uh, the tool itself up 
Now what manufacturers are covered? Well, I'll go through that. Um, it's really easy to hold actually. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but it's sort of a one-hander and it's really easy to sort of put in one hand and then you can use the other hand to use the touch screen. So I'm gonna click on to diagnose and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a long list of manufacturers. The easiest thing for me to do to show you the manufacturers is to click on the American one and then it gives you a full list of all of the tool, uh, sorry, the manufacturers in America that this tool covers. Then we can go to to the European and it gives us a list here but I will need to scroll through again there we go we're getting a good idea and then we go to the Asian and again just pause the screen if you need to it should be giving you a good idea of everything that it covers and then we also go Chinese if anybody has a Chinese vehicle There we go, so those are the manufacturers that the tool actually covers. And what about the systems that it covers? Well, it will cover all systems within your vehicle. Um, let me show you what I mean. So we're in a BMW here, and I'm just gonna find the BMW. We are in European, aren't we? Okay, so I need to find the BMW. Am I going mad? Oh, I've completely missed it. There it is, BMW. And so basically it will allow you to cover, uh, sorry, there's the blue light, which shows it's connected there now. Um, it'll allow you to diagnose and access all systems within the vehicle. And one of the really, really good features about this car is it'll, it'll allow you to do what's called a health report. And I'll show you that in one second. So we're going to automatically search, it's going to automatically um, find the vehicle, and we go next and then we can do what's called a health report. So if we do a health report, what this is gonna do is it's gonna scan the whole vehicle in real time, and it's gonna pick up any fault codes that do appear in the vehicle. Now, we have uh, an airbag light and a check engine light on this vehicle, so it'll be interesting to see if the, the kit does pick up these faults. So you can see it's scanning through here, and it's a really good way of showing that it's scanning through all of the systems in the vehicle. And then it comes back and tells you where the faults are. So this one's the engine control module, which is what we'd hoped for. We did expect to see that. It gives you a little bit of information about the, um, the supplier, the information on the ECU. So we'll click continue, and then we can go read fault code. So it's giving us two fault codes here that we did expect to see, but what I'm gonna do is while I'm here, I'm gonna, um, well, this is this is an example, sorry, of what the faults will give you, uh, the information. So you get a unique fault code, you'll also get a description of the fault as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back here, and we don't wanna do that. We're gonna click on clear fault code, and when I do this, Oh, well, it's already done it. There you go. The check engine light has gone. Um, so that is a good thing. Then we've got the SRS, which is the uh, the airbag system, supplemental restraint. Again, we'll click on continue, click on read fault code, and it's giving us three unique different fault codes with a description of fault every time. So the same applies here. We're going to go back. We're going to click on clear fault code. And when I do this, just keep an eye on the airbag light there. Clear fault code processing and there you go the airbag light is gone and we have a clear fault code on screen so there we go that's just an example of sort of the it'll it'll also give us faults in other systems as well which I haven't actually looked at to be honest with you but I will seeing as we have the information now I'll, I'll do this sort of in our own time though but it, it, show, it shows you faults in all of the different systems that are actually installed into your vehicle okay uh, so that's a really good feature now um, what about the special functions? Special functions are what makes this tool really, really good. Uh, from time to time you do get an annoying beep on there, which tells you to remove the dongle. Uh, so if we go back to the main menu and we go to maintenance and service, this is the special function menu. So we've got brake bleeding, headlights, add blue, air fuel, suspension, airbags, battery registration, uh, brake reset, coolant, gear learning, DPF regeneration, EGR, where you can look by, you can see by all of the little icons there. And if you need to pause the screen at any time, then please do. But it gives you 28 um, 
maintenance and service functions which are really really good really really handy and that is why what makes this tool such a powerful tool uh, over a lot of the other fun uh, the other tools that are out there um, so does it give live data it does give live data as well again uh, what I could do is go into BMW again and I'm going to show you some live data it is a touch screen this obviously as you've noticed there are no buttons anywhere other than the power button on the top um, so everything is is quite uh, easy to use easy to set up with the uh, the touch screens so if I just go to automatically search again and click on to next this time I just want to scan a specific system I want to go in into the uh, the DME which is the engine system Oh, it's scanning the whole. It's scanning the whole vehicle, actually. Can I just click on that right now? Yes, I can. Right. So if we go to read data stream, diagnosis request, and then it's it gives us lots of different sections for where we can get the live data from. Lots of different areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Say I'm interested in the DPF live data. There we go. So if I click, if I click those, then I click OK. We now give us live data on the DPF. Right, and then if we click that it'll give us graphing data go back something which is fluctuating a bit more there we go so that's the live data for the uh, the tool now what about the updates the updates for this tool are free for life when it comes to the main systems um, if you want to get uh, and on the, the the special functions as well if you want to get um, sort of free updates for more advanced special functions like actuation tests TPMS ECU coding then it does cost $50 which is about $50 as well 35 pounds per year per manufacturer so uh, that is something to bear in mind uh, how does it compare with other tools well it gives it gives I would say for something like the iCars of CR Max it's probably on par with the iCars of CR Max but those tools are priced similar as well so um, have a look at the iCars of CR Max as well and you'll get a good idea of uh, sort of where this tool is in relation to that. Um, for help and support for this tool you would need to contact the people you bought it from, they will have quick access to the manufacturers. Um, can it print faults is another question. Uh, there's that annoying beep again. Uh, another question that we would get and the answer is yes you can because if you go to the Think Store you've got device and parts. This is where you would um, download the additional sort of like coding and the actuation tests etc but if you look at this one you can buy a thermal bat a thermal imager um, and a printer as well so and the paper so you can print everything off like a health report and you can give it to a customer if you need to uh, which is really really good really handy um, my, when it comes to what we're we looking at um, this is just the options section I was just looking for the languages and it shows you all the languages which are available. Okay, so and this is just obviously the, the kind of the setup section of the tool. Um, if you wanted to adjust any of the, uh, the different settings on the tool. Okay, um, you've got a feedback section as well. This will allow you to uh, send feedback through to the manufacturer should you need to. Um, obviously, you've seen the full box and instructions. I would I recommend this tool to anybody who has little or no experience? And I would say absolutely yes, because it's very easy to use. You can't do any damage to the vehicle. You can't do any damage to the tool. It's so easy to handle, so easy to store back in its box. And you know whether you've whether you've worked on a thousand cars in your lifetime or it's your first vehicle, then I would say that this tool is very easy to use for anybody no matter what your experience um, 
and that's pretty much it um, you can do a quick check print the service and maintenance options diagnose your main systems you, you've seen me change uh, so you diagnose and reset a couple of warning lights there um, it, it doesn't double up as a tablet um, it's quite common to think that it can double up as a tablet because it does give that impression but it, it must only be a diagnostic tool at all times it can't be you can't sort of uh, go on to Google or go on to any other um, like apps or websites using this tool as well. Uh, delivery for this tool you're looking at one to two working days uh, but as I say if you are interested in the tool then by all means what I would say is use the link in the description below this video because it will uh, it will take you to the genuine and official product. There are fakes out there, there are clones, they will cause your vehicle and you and the tool itself absolutely nothing but torture. Uh, trust me we've been there, we've tried and tested many fakes they are really really bad um, so yeah thanks for watching and I hope this video on this think tool mini has helped